So, let's talk about deadlines, those points in the future that your work needs to be done by. There are actually two types of deadlines, really. There are those that are imposed externally by your tutor, your teacher, your friends and family that need you to do something, and we can't do anything about that. But what about the other type of deadline, the ones that we impose on ourselves when we're planning our time? Those can often end up being too ambitious and we end up missing them and feeling disappointed in ourselves. And sometimes missing one deadline can lead on to another one and another one and another one. Well, let's have a think about changing the way we create our own deadlines. And for this, let's stop thinking about fixed points and let's start thinking about ranges for deadlines. What do I mean by this? Well, ask yourself three questions in relation to any piece of work. Number one, when do I need to have done this by? This is the latest possible point that I could possibly do this work. Number two, when do I hope that I could do this by? This is your most optimistic goal based on your abilities to read, write or do these tasks on past experience. What if you absolutely hit your best potential, what would you manage and how quickly could you do it? And in between those, we're going to take a midpoint. When would I like to have done this by? If you can have had these three ideas and start to create them into a range, you're going to give yourself a lot more flexibility. Rather than saying I'm going to do everything by Friday at five, think that I'm probably going to have completed this somewhere between Thursday evening and Friday evening. And what you can do with that is allow yourself to gain back time, particularly when you've got multiple deadlines happening at once. This one I'm not quite on track for. I'm going to be towards the end of my deadline range, but actually that's okay because on my other tasks that I'm currently doing, I am ahead trying to balance them and trying to think that you're not losing time, you're just taking up different amounts of your deadline time each different task that you come across. These are these little things that we can do that mean that you have an easier time, that you are not constantly on the back foot. Take control of your time, give yourself the option of when you're going to finish things by and that will allow you to have a much clearer head and hopefully eventually a clearer timetable. I'm Jamie from the Oxford Study Skills Centre and I'll see you next time.